But the final seminar of the day in here um, comes from Crispin Porter and Bogolsky discussing social media initiatives and cause swarming, a new term developed by these panelists to describe instantly moving a group en masse to address a specific social problem. Please welcome to the stage Andrew Keller, CEO of CP and B. Good evening. As you said, I'm Andrew Keller from CPB, and I'm crazy excited to be here tonight with David Clark and Smokey Robinson to talk about social media, and most importantly, a project that we're getting ready to launch today. For just short of a decade now, we've all talked about the power of social media. It's a little crazy to think that Facebook started only eight years ago, Twitter only six years ago, uh, Pinterest like yesterday, and it's just huge already, you know. But how it all works and the, and the ways things blow up on social media and get big and we all hear about them uh, is still kind of, kind of an unfolding story. Every movement that happens, every sensation, every phenomenon teaches us something new about how to leverage social media. Now we've played with the medium a bit ourselves within the realm of advertising and we've had some success. This was Whopper Sacrifice for Burger King, in which we challenged the value of friendship when we said, unfriend 10 friends and we'll give you a free Whopper. Turns out people couldn't dump their friends fast enough. And this is 12th Force for Best Buy, where we use Twitter to aggregate the help of 3,000 blue shirts who were normally limited to the store to be able to spread their knowledge beyond the store. And in fact, an interesting side effect, when it launched, customer complaints dropped by 18%. Now happy to introduce you to David Clark from David Clark Cause. Just to give you a little bit of background uh, context, I'm passionate about my career. Uh, it's part designer, part inventor, and storyteller. But for me, what I'm fascinated about is branding and how you can craft a message and deliver it. That's really everything. I've been an entrepreneur for 30 odd years. For the last 20, I focused solely on creating cause brands, initiatives, intellectual property, and all forms of medium. My clients include dignitaries, celebrities, charities, brands, organizations, and governments, both local and national. Cause Swarm is a new digital platform designed to help you rally people around causes dear to you by aggregating the power of followers and fans. Basically, we're out to change the face of causes. We're turning social currency into real currency for good. Start with something you're passionate about. It could be raising money to build wells for clean water, getting people to volunteer their time to plant urban gardens, or signing an anti-bullying pledge. So while we're developing this with uh, Andrew and a lot of very talented people at CPB, and I mean a lot of people, um, and you know who you are, uh, something remarkable happened, uh, something that basically knocked me off my chair. I got a call from Brian French, who's a remarkable man in his own right, but he was Smokey's manager, and he said, Smokey Robinson would love to talk to you. If you can get out to LA, Smokey wants to figure out how he can really leverage his celebrity for good. So for me, it was an absolute honor because, I mean, Smokey's first hit song was in 1958. I mean, the man's been an icon forever and he's absolutely beloved. And from my point of view, talking about credibility, this is the gold standard. So I went out to Los Angeles, met with Smokey, and I was really grateful that he lived up to his expectations, or at least the expectations I have. Just a remarkable man. Uh, I'm very happy and very proud to be here, especially for what we're here for. Um, this is a wonderful occasion. It's good to see all of you here. We came to Cannes at the right time, because it's really crowded. We've been having a good time, though. For me, there are enough resources on Earth to feed and water and clothe and take care of everybody on Earth. But some people are not privy to those things. And um, what we're trying to do here is make a difference and make it possible for those who are not privy to be privy to those um, God-given rights to have water, to have food, to have laws that um, pertain to everybody in their countries. So thank you very much for coming. And go to smokealarm.org. <laughs>